What's up, Film Jammers? This week we're coming in with a new product from Small Rig that caught my eye. Now, Small Rig is normally a company I use for my magic arms, my camera accessories, but now they're dabbling in the optical territory with their new 4x5 ND filters. Let's try them out. I picked up these small rig ND filters because you can never have too many ND filters around a camera shop and our Schneider filters are often rented out. So I grabbed these 4x5 small rig NDs. Price wise, they're only $159 each compared to $286 for the Schneider 4x5.65 filters. Small Rig currently offers a 0.6 ND, which is a two stop filter, and a 1.2 ND, which is four stops of light reduction. It's great for a sunny day filming. A few other features that drew me to the small rig NDs are their waterproof and oil resistant coating. Get your dirty camera assistant hands off of my ND filter. Oh wait, they're oil resistant, Never mind. <laughs> they have shot B270 optical glass. This is the good stuff. This high performance glass is what keeps the ND color cast out of your image. The small rig filters are four millimeters thick. These are thick and strong or strong and thick. They fit well into both our small rig mini map box as well as our tilt a mini map box, though the fit was a little bit snug in the tilt a mini map box. But it's better than loosey goosey. <laughs> now, what we really want to see is how these filters stack up against the competition in our real world test. So we're going to compare the small rig 4x5 ND filters to the Schneider 4x5 ND filters, which are one of the industry standards for filmmaking. And we're also gonna compare them both to the Canon internal NDs on our Canon C300 Mark III. This should be fun, shall we? Overall, I was pretty surprised with the results. We did a little internal test here at Film Jams, a blind taste test, and we all voted for the small rig ND filters. They just seem to hold the contrast better than the Schneider filters, and they seem to match up pretty well with the Canon internal NDs as far as contrast, but overall we thought the small rig looked really nice. We didn't really notice any color shift from all of the NDs we tested. If anything, it was virtually indistinguishable. I think I saw a little magenta shift there. So for the price, I think these small rig NDs are a great buy. Currently, they've only released the 0.6 and the 1.2 strengths, which I wish they had the full set out, but the other strengths are coming soon. I'll definitely be building out a second set of NDs for our camera shop because you can never have too many NDs in a camera shop. All right, I hope this review on the small rig ND filters was helpful. I'm Christian with Film Jams, and we'll see you next week. I feel like this episode needs something, like a song about ND filters. Oh, what's this? ND filters, ND filters, not your undies, but your NDs. How many stops in a point six? Two. How many stops in a 1.2? Four. This week we're coming in with a new Andy filters, Andy filters, not your undies but your Andies.